Hi, this is Michael David from Tasty Placement. I'm the author of WordPress Search Engine Optimization, now out on second edition on Pack Publishing. My agency is a Google Analytics certified partner agency and Google certified AdWords partners. And this is our race car. For today's tutorial, we're going to use Screaming Frog SEO Spider to create a full sitemap of a website. First, what you'll need. We're using Screaming Frog version 5.1, which is current in October of 2015, and a website. Okay, let's go. The video quality blows because I'm using Cam Studio, but you'll be able to get through it. All right, let's do the Screaming Frog tutorial on how to create a sitemap. Um, why do we want a sitemap? Well, we want to create an XML sitemap, and I'm not talking about an HTML sitemap page that you put on your website with a link to all your pages. I don't think users really use those. Um, and your site should be big enough anyway, if you want to make money, that the page like that's going to be too huge anyway. So we're talking about an XML sitemap, a sitemap.xml file that we can submit to Google Webmasters or Bing Webmasters to help search engines crawl our site and find what's important. All right. Um, by the way, don't use the free sitemap tools online. I mean, we, had a, we have a huge client, uh, 600 employees, and one of the IT guys there used one of the free sitemap programs online and posted the sitemap. And upon later investigation, it didn't include all the pages on the site. So Screaming Frog is a very pro way to do this. Uh, you're going to get a deep crawl, a full crawl, and a very good sitemap out of this that is completely compliant with search engines. So this is the way to do it. First step, we've opened Screaming Frog, and I'm using version 5.1, which is current in October of 2015. Always set the mode. We want to make sure we're in spider mode. So we're going to spider a single site. We are going to use tastyplacement.com, which is our website. I'm going to start it, and then it takes about three and a half minutes to crawl. So I'll start it and then pause the video and just resume when it finishes. So we've started it, and you can see it's already chewing um, and moving pretty quickly. So I'll be back in a sec. OK, well, Screaming Frog just completed its crawl of tastyplacement.com. And you can tell when it's finished because this bar will progress eventually to 100%. Um, this is a good time to sort of look through what you've got here. Now, how do we do that? So we can go over here and you can see we've crawled 798 elements and that includes JavaScript, HTML, you know, CSS files, images, PDFs. Um, if you click on HTML here, you're going to see only HTML files in this window and you'll see a count here, 304 pages. That's the number of pages we've got. Uh, and that's including some 301s and no index pages. Uh, you can also see, you know, your images here if you're into that. Uh, but we're really interested. We're creating an XML sitemap of our HTML pages. And this is a good point. If you, Once you do just a basic spider, basic crawl in Screaming Frog, from this window, you, you're able to see if maybe one of your pages is lacking a title tag, right? So you'll see blanks here if there's no title tag. And if you scroll to the right, you can see whether there's uh, a meta description and what the length of those are. And you can see we've got like 155s and 124s and 138s. So we're really, you know, up to that 155 character standard there. Uh, this gets pretty deep, though, so we'll do another video about that at another time. So this, the, this is a two-phase process. First, we crawl the site, and the second step is we generate the sitemap. We're 70% done. I mean, we're... Uh, this crawled effectively. We've got the proper page count. We know Screaming Frog crawled it properly uh, so we can move on from here. Now, if you're at this point and you know you've got more than 300 pages and Screaming Frog didn't find them all, it means you have a crawl problem. Bingo. Another benefit of Screaming Frog because if Screaming Frog can't find the pages on your site because there aren't links to all those pages, then a search engine spider may not find them either. That indicates a problem. So from here, we've done our crawl and Screaming Frog makes this very easy. We're gonna go up on the title bar here 
to sitemaps and we're going to create an XML sitemap. You could also create an images sitemap. We'll do another video. So we're going to click this and we're going to get a little menu here. Okay. And you progress through these tabs before hitting next. We do not want to include no index pages. We've no indexed them for a reason. If you know what you're doing, don't include no index pages here. These we all leave blank except PDFs. We've got about two PDFs we want Google to find. Last modified we leave alone. Uh, it's a very, this is very sound, so is priority. Uh, these are good priority numbers. Change frequency, uh, it's totally fine. And images, we do not want to include images in our main XML sitemap. We click next. It's pre-named sitemap.xml. We'll overwrite the file I created in the test. Save. And that's it. Let's take a look at that file to review it. Go over to our temp directory. And we'll open this with Notepad++, which is a great text editor for all kinds of files. And there it is. And it looks good. Um, we've got nice priorities here. Higher priorities on the key pages up front. Uh, we are set. Next step would be just to use our XML sitemap wherever we wanted. We upload it to Google Webmasters, which is now called Search Console, or Bing Webmaster. Um, so just another one of the many things that Screaming Frog can do. And at Tasty Placement, we use this for a couple dozen individual tasks. This is definitely one of the easier ones because they've uh, included the, the sitemap creation right in the menu here. It's 99 pounds a year for Screaming Frog, but when you learn about all the things it can do, um, it's definitely high level stuff that uh, pros use. Anyway, if you have any questions, you can email me at michael at tastyplacement.com. And as always, visit our site or you know follow us on Facebook. We're always doing super, super high level tips on everything from WordPress to high level SEO um, and a lot of really advanced uh, Google Analytics and AdWords stuff. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you.